Are you ready for episode number three? Number tres? I just got into a wild encounter. Sweet. Not how I wanted to start the episode. We haven't okay, even started yet, though, so you're, you're well, lucky. Let's, you're lucky. Let's, let's get this done. What's going on, guys? It is the Phantom Michael, and I'm bringing you episode number three of our Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu, Let's Go Eevee, Go Lock with the one, the only, DJ Spinda. What's going on, guys? DJ Spinda here. On the last episode, you guys, we made it through Viridian City, and now we're in Viridian Forest. We scooped up an encounter. Let's do a quick team recap so you guys can get acquainted with our brand new teams for this amazing playthrough. Um, now, we did explain what the Go Lock rules were in episode one, so be sure to go check that out or check the description. Uh, Dude, Eevee is 14 pounds. What? 14 pounds on your head. Dang. That is crazy. That's okay. like a medium-sized dog sitting on your That's, head. I don't get it. That, how is a how is a almost 15-pound animal sitting on top of your head just walking around? That's crazy. <laughs> All right, you guys. Up first, I have McCloud the Eevee with the moves. Tackle, Tail Up, Growl, and Quick Attack. I have my boy, or my girl, I'm sorry, Hawkins the Spiro with Peck and Growl. I also have Venus the Bellsprout with Vine Whip, Growth, and Wrap. I have Monarch the Caterpie with Tackle String Shot. I also have a Yellow Jacket the Kakuna with Poison Sting, String Shot, and Harden. All right. Um, okay. I have, I have Sadie the Oddish at level 8. Next, I got my starter and my partner, Cheeks the Pikachu at level 9. Then we got Loranda the Rattata at level six. We got William the 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 Caterpie at level six, and we've got Benny the Kakuna at level five. So yeah. Right on. All right, and we're just catching Pokemon, kind of trying to get through this forest. Oh, Pikachu um, we, popped up. We uh -oh. are gonna get to level. Yeah, catch it, man. We're trying to get to level twelve before we take on Brock. So there's a Pokeball here. I'm gonna scoop this bad boy up. Okay, I have caught. Oh. Before, in between episodes, you guys, I uh, ran into this Pokemon in the forest. Look at that Bulbasaur. Ooh, nice. I didn't know you ran into a Bulbasaur. Yeah, I, I kind of yelled when I found it. I was excited. Yeah, I didn't, but, uh, I didn't catch that at all. Ran into a Bulbasaur. Ooh, I but, got uh, some juicy experience. Cannot there. use it. Cannot use it. So I'm gonna go ahead and send him to the professor. Boom, Bulbasaur is gone. Sadie is slowly taking over this team right now. Got a smart candy from it. Ooh, I got an evolution, boy! Ooh! Right off the bat! Look at, these look at these layout changes right off the bat. Man. This also, time is not my fault. <laughs> a quick PSA announcement here. If you guys uh, noticed in the last episode, we noticed it too. Um, there may have, may or may not have been a couple of audio issues uh, as far as latency and and stuff like that. We're still trying to figure out these setups because we had to change everything to make this work. So uh -huh. if there's any like, you know, latencies with our voice and stuff, we're sorry. We tried. <laughs> Hopefully yeah, it's is, all better I now. I don't understand what's been happening, but it's, it's ridiculous. Like it's happened to me too. So right, yeah, it's crazy. I don't know. So we're just. Uh, I, oh. I put this sports outfit on uh, Eevee. Oh, in the last true. Episode. Oh, you looking fly. I put it on um, in between episodes. I got a Pikachu. I love that Nidorina cannot poison point me. I know, right? But we can't static. You know, my Pikachu can't static, yeah. so. It is what it, it is, I guess. for me, man. Three more Pokeballs. Let's get rid of that Pikachu. Okay. If you catch the right Pokemon, a uh, high enough level Pokemon, and you you get it with like a great or an excellent throw, you don't mm -hmm. have to do too much grinding. You actually will get pretty decent level level up. But uh... man, everybody's got one Pokemon. I know it's the it's the worst. I wish they had like three apiece, so we get some actual experience. I thought there was a trainer here that had. A uh, Weedle, Caterpie, Kakuna, and... Yeah, Wright had four Pokemon. I thought so, too, yeah. but I'm not seeing it. I could really use, like, a Geodude or something, right? 
destroy all these all these flying and bug types and stuff, but I guess I'll go with my Pikachu. With old Rock with old cheeks. Dude. Yeah, right? What are you gonna do? Ooh, I learned double kick yo. Ooh. Get rid of get rid of grout. One tap? One tap. It's how we do. Probably be little to no experience from that. Sixteen, yeah. But it got cheeks to level ten, so hey, there we go. That's what's important. Yeah. 102 getting, CP now. Getting your cheeks to the right level. <laughs> Dude, my Spearow is so fast. There's a Pokeball right here. Ooh, fancy. Don't miss the Pokeball behind the tree. Let's get this Pikachu. Let's catch him. It's a Pikachu. It's a Pikachu. <laughs> mm, excellent throw. Good answer, good answer. Caught it, caught it, caught it, caught it, caught it, there's caught so, it. But there, I will say this, there's more trainers in the Viridian Force than there was in the other games. Yeah, oh yeah, I, I can say there's definitely more trainers. Um, wow. Um, I'm catching these Pikachus, you know, and, and, uh, getting excellent throws on them. And I'm getting like 60-something experience every time, which is actually pretty solid. That, that's important. I would take that 60, 60 experience every time. I Did wish you notice too when you catch multiple like two, two of the same Pokemon, it gives you like a streak. I saw that. Yeah, yeah, I just got that with the Pikachu's. That's the second one in a row I caught. So, oh, I should I should do my clothing trunk thing. There's another Pikachu. Outfit for cheeks. Dude, there's so many Pikachu here. Oh, cheeks got that. There's a Pokeball got here Got that too. cap on. Dude, I found a lure. I gotta I gotta see Ooh. what that does later. Is that like Pokemon Go lures? I don't know. I just, I love how you can avoid wild encounters if you, oh, shoot, I just, as I say that, I run into a Caterpie that just popped up out of nowhere, I'm like, ah. As you're saying, you avoid Pokemon, you right. run right dead into one. Excellent throw. That's how we do. Let's go, Sammy. Woo! Catching them mons. Woo! Like a Pokemon master. I got 26 experience from a Caterpie. <laughs> Oh boy. Dead. Well, my whole team is slowly getting there. Uh, let's get rid of that Caterpie. Okay. I made it to the, uh, to the, to Pewter City, man. Oh shoot. I'm way behind. You Kay. need to hurry up. I know. You I just, to hurry up. I've been leveling up, catching these mons, let's, you let's know. Let's talk to this guy. Have you noticed the skinny trees on the roadside? They can be chopped down with the secret technique called chop down, I hear. Chop called down? Chop down. What the heck? Fires, plenty powers. Okay. I so need... This game has level and combat power. That's interesting. Nice throw. Nice throw. Good answer. Good answer. Dude, I'm going to go to mm. Peter City. I'm, I'm stepping into Peter City right now. Shoot. Okay, let's see how much... I got 20 experience for that Pikachu. Lame. Route two. Sadie did get to level 11, though. so Or level 10, so that's fine with me. I wish... I wish it would ask you if you wanted it in your party or not. Yeah, that's I, nice. I don't want to be splitting all this experience with a rando. Oh my goodness, dude. Pewter City looks so beautiful. I'm, I'm ready. I'm so ready to go explore it. Yeah, I'm a little ways away. <laughs> <laughs> you need to hurry up. Okay, I got a quick candy for that Pikachu. That's one thing they should have done in this game is if you can't level up by battling wild Pokemon, they should have uh, had more trainers. Oh, I found that lure. Sweet. They should have had like twice as many trainers then. You know? Yeah. It's just kind of... Oh, oh, oh. Oh, another Pikachu? Dang, these things are flocking. Yeah, dude, I ran a whole bunch. That's like my fourth one. Come on, man. Bug catcher Sammy has a Metapod. Wow, I just threw metapod. three Pokeballs wasted. Oh, wow, wow. Okay, level three. Uh, growth. Let's growth up. Is that the last trainer? Yeah. I could have swore, though, in the original game that 
the last trainer had like a level nine Kakuna or something like that, or a level nine Weedle or some some craziness. But he had a Pichu, a Pichu. Oh, maybe. Either way, it wasn't level three. This thing's level three. Like, <laughs> let's be real. I'm, I, I've actually really grown to like Oddish. Oddish is really killing it right now. Man, there's just like I got I get more experience from catching the Pokemon than I do battling trainers, which is ridiculous. Yeah. That kinda Agreed. sucks. So what is this chop down business? This sounds kinda interesting. Do we get like an axe? <laughs> I talked to everybody in there. I have a tough candy that you can only use. Oh this guy talks about CP, that's kinda cool. Did you check the Who trash needs can? A defense that no 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 one needs a defense smart. Is there special some tag? Don't have a nope. special attacker. Ooh, so many Pokemon! I don't. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna hang on to it. I'm gonna hang on to it. Okay, you ready to go explore Pewter City? Uh, yeah. I just ran into our rival. Let's go. Oh, there he is. Hey, nice. I was hoping we'd run into each other. That's oh, a battle. Is it really? You know there's a Pokemon gym this way, right, Phantom? You can battle against the gym leader there, and he's seriously strong. If you want to get stronger, you've definitely got to try to take him on. Hey, jeez, McCloud. You're ready for a battle, aren't you? Who wouldn't be? All right, then. You're making me want to cheer you guys on, too. So take these. Five Pokemon. Five Podions. Nice. I bought, some of, I bought some for you with the prize money I've been earning in all my battles. Beat the gym leader, Phantom, and you can really call yourself a true trainer. Give it your best. I wonder if the cheat codes or the cheats are in this game where you can get Gengar added to your party. <laughs> 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 Alright, let I'm I'm just gonna check out this town. I'm just gonna do my own thing. Sweet. Yeah, let's uh let's do some investigating, huh? Nidoran in here. Trying to teach him how to sit. Little ran, it ran so far away. <laughs> yeah, they got rid of the PC in, like in general in this game. That's crazy. Yeah, dude, you use it straight out of your menu, menu button. I mean, we've always wondered why they didn't just do that. You know, with you know smartphone technology and everything. Now it's like, no. Yeah. Well, I guess we can access our own Pokebox too. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. All these kids are playing switches. That's cool. Whoa. I just bought some pewter, cr pewter crunchies. What the heck is that? This dude is selling them. It's like cereal, I think. <laughs> Was it for Pokemon or what? I, I, it went into my medicine bag. You can buy it from the guy on the far left of the Pokemon Center. Let me take a look. This old guy over here? Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, pewter, left. pewter crunchies. They're five hundred dollars. Jeez. I bought one. I guess I'll do one. Yeah, I, I could barely do two. I got a bag of pewter crunchies. Well, that sounds interesting. Did you check to see what they do? No, not yet. I, I was just trying to trying to get everybody. All right, let's check it out. It, it looks like peanuts. Medicine. Oh, pocket. it's like a it's like a full heal. Uh, they can be used, yeah, to heal all status conditions of a single Pokemon. Sweet. That's awesome. Little, little steep in price, I'd say. <laughs> Ooh, this guy's got a Geo dude. Dude, dude, Geo dude. Yes. That's right. And we can talk about it. Oh yeah, there's the museum over there too. We should check out. Ooh, so much going Spelling. on. They're putting repels on the flowers. My Rattata found something. A nana berry. There we go. I wish I could challenge people to a battle in the town. I know, right? Just challenge anyone and be like, hey, I'll battle your Butterfree right now. That's that's what I would do, honestly, if Pokemon were, like, legit. All right, let's talk to this kid. Oh, nope. You're a trainer, right? Brock's looking for new challenges. Follow me. Oh, this kid's taking me all the way to Brock. <laughs> okay. He dang sure did. I don't know how that happened. It just did a pan transition, and I was right in front of the gym. Oh, there's a freaking item right there. If that kid wouldn't have done that, I wouldn't have seen that item. There's an item behind the Pokemon Center. Ooh, okay. 
He just told to me know. that a moonstone. Dude, this dude has a big slow bro. Or this lady. Slow poke. Slow poke. Oh. How do I get back there? It's hidden behind those trees. Okay, so you have to go to the far left of this lady's house, go past the bush, and then hang a right. Yep, found it. Where's that item at? So, go to the far left of the Pokemon Center. Like, yeah. there's that little stone house. Go past the stone house, go all the way up to that uh, bush with the purple flowers, and hang a right, and you'll get it. Oh, I gotta go... to the Towards the same street the Pokemon Center's on. Let's see, I'm gonna... I'm gonna have that kid take me there so I can spot it like you did. You're a trainer, right? Brock's looking for new challenges. Follow me. Follow a me. Bear. I don't know how you spotted an item. Look, just uh, go down now. Walk down. No, the other way. Left. Oh, in the fenced area. Yeah, right there. How do I get into the fenced area? You have to go to the same street the Pokemon Center's on. Ah. Uh, okay, let's talk to her real quick. Mount Moon, sweet. Have you been in the in the museum yet? Not yet. I'm, I'm. That's my next stop right now. Oh, this lady's giving me a quest. I think. The lady with the slowpoke. X defense. Dude, I love Rattata being out of his ball. He's Dude, so fast. The, the lady just gave us a quest. It's the best thing ever. Go talk to the slowpoke lady. Okay, that is a massive slowpoke. That's what I said. Oh dear, what am I supposed to do with you, slowpoke? Oh, hello there. Do you think you could do me a favor? I want to go to the pewter museum, but my dear Whoa. slowpoke here has just refused to budge. Poke. Do you think you could keep an eye on my dear Slowpoke for a little while? Sure. Oh, thank you very much. In that case, please keep your dear Slowpoke company for a while. Okay. Dude. Look at this Slowpoke. Isn't he glorious? Dude. What? Wait till you see what she gives you for doing this. Ooh, I get something good, do I? Yeah. Woo! <laughs> Staring blankly ahead, you spent a relaxing time with Slowpoke. I like how we're just sitting there staring at him, like all hunched down and everything, just looking at him. Alright, I'm paying $50 to go into this museum. There better be something worth it in here. Thank you for keeping an eye on old dear Slowpoke here. Ooh. This is for your trouble. A it's big a pearl! Box. Man, we're gonna be rolling in it. Can we can we watch that Slowpoke like once a day and get a big pearl every day? That would be nice. <laughs> That'd be kind of crazy, huh? Who the heck would want to go to the same museum once a day? Look at this awesome Kabutops, dude. I'm about to I'm about to look at it here. Oh look at you look at fly. Look at that aerodactyl. What is this? Let's see, this is where they always have like little like hidden things from different games. It's where we gotta spot them. Right in here. It's a theory. A game theory. A game theory. Thanks for watching. This month, we're running a space exhibit. Ooh. Ah. Who's this kid? Who this kid? Dude, Moonstone, there's the four huh? meteors. What's so the special about meteors. it? Looks like an ordinary rock to me. Mm. They have the meteors that turn Deoxys right here. Ooh. Swag. I want a Pikachu. It's so cute. Daddy, can you please get one for me? Yeah, I'll get you a Pikachu soon. I promise. Wow. Cool. All right, dude. The oh, there. What is this? Okay, nothing. All right, I, I did everything I could do in the museum. You that saw. That was worth fifty dollars. Did you see the uh at the? I look at all these telescopes and stuff. Not telescopes. These uh, microscopes. And it says. Yeah, it was talking about a crystal. You saw a beautiful crystal when you looked into the microscope. What could that be? Hint, hint. Next gen. Cause like. The one that I looked at in a previous episode, it was, uh, there was a strange pattern, you know, or whatever. So I was thinking, I was like, oh, right. like Zygarde cell pattern or something. And this is a crystal, bro, for yeah. uh, Pokemon Crystal. 
All right, dude, I'm gonna go inside Brock's gym. Unless it's, uh, let's see, what do we have for time? We're about 20. We're definitely not ready to battle Brock's gym. Uh, we could probably take on the first trainer, though. I just want to see, like, what we got going. I hope I don't get wrecked. I just Venus is level 8. So. I, I just walked in. Woo! Look at this. Oh, they turned the lights on. There's people ready to watch me destroy this place. They got two trainers in the gym now instead of one. Yo. Hi. Hiya. There you you're here to challenge the gym, aren't you? I am not a trainer, but I can tell you, you're worthy of challenging the gym leader. Now, let's get started. The Pewter City Gym only allows trainers who know type matchups to enter. There are a few types that you have, have an advantage against in gym leader's rock type gym. But for trainers who have never challenged the gym before, we have them use either grass or water type Pokemon. You have to show me a grass or water type Pokemon if you want to face the gym leader. Wow. Check out my Venus. Great, that Pokemon is exactly what I wanted to see. Head on in and I and aim to become a Pokemon champion. So what happens if I do that and then I take Venus out of my team? I don't know. Let's find out. Yeah, just go box them real quick. You can do that from right where you are. Conveniently. Dude, we could literally be about to challenge a gym and just switch Pokemon teams right there. I know, right? Yeah, let's see. I'll take uh, I'll take the, uh, my my Oddish out. I'm gonna talk to this guy again and see if he kicks me out or something. Uh, nothing, dude. You just have to show it to him. Oh, it's just so we they know that we know type advantages. That's weird. Yep. Maybe it's just for this specific trainer. Okay, I added that. I added Sadie back to my party. All right, are we? Do I dare challenge this man, this girl? Uh, I'm doing it. I, I, I'm doing it. I think we're fine. Let's see what happens. I think we should be level twelve, but I'm gonna try. Well, if we got Pokemon, type, if we have type advantages, we should be fine. A Geo dude, what what's this level? Everything else has been really low leveled in comparison, so it might not be too bad. Oh, it's level seven, bro. Oh, well, actually, that's higher than I was expecting. <laughs> dude, I just destroyed this freaking thing, dude. Like, killed it instantly. Oh yeah, for sure. Like, instant death. Sadie's about to do the same here with Absorb. Woo! Cooking. Oh, you ready for a layout change? You got an evolution coming? You dang right I do. LaRonda's level look, 8. Look at it. William's level 8. Ooh, Caterpie's evolving. Caterpie! You're quite different from challengers I've faced. I got 140 bucks. Dude, well, these Pokemon sprites are so beautiful. Well, shoot, are we just doing this right now, Mike? Are we just going to do the whole thing? <laughs> I, I, dude, I'm, I don't think we should battle Brock this episode. I think we need to grind at least to everybody's like level 10 or 11. You're 10,000 light years away from facing Brock. That's what that's what text I wanted to hear. There we go. You are challenged by Camper Liam. Sent out a Gia, dude. Wow, look at all the diversity in this gym. Okay, why does every trainer have one Pokemon? It's obnoxious. I don't like it. It's like if I'm going to go through the... The trouble of going into a battle scenario, I might as well battle a few Pokemon, right? Especially if I'm just gonna blow through them like this with Oddish, like, jeez. Fortune these foos. Dude, this guy just got murdered. Do you wanna you wanna try to battle Brock right now? I mean Well, okay, so this here listen hear me out, hear me out. If we if we grind up, get everybody at least to level 10, I think. Just in case Brock has, you know, crazy Pokemon. Right? Which I don't foresee happening, but... Right, I don't, but the next... We could either battle Brock now, kick the next episode off with a... With a little go matchup. True, some, true. Some, some 1v1. That... Or... Or... We could battle Brock and do the bat the 1v1 in the next episode yeah i was gonna say i don't think we have time to do them both at the end of this episode here because we're already pushing our time 
What time? What time is it right now? We're about twenty-five. Let's just battle Brock. Let's do it. I'm ready. And then do our start the next episode out with our one v one. Yep. Yep. All righty. Are you Who, ready? Yeah. Who's voicing Brock? Let's let. I'll let you do that, big dog. Okay. Oh <laughs> my God, dude. He looks dude, he so looks good. just like he does in the anime. It's oh. crazy. Oh. So you're here. I'm Brock, Pewter City's gym leader. You can see just by looking at my Pokemon how ha rock hard my willpower is. My Pokemon are all hard as rock and have true grit determination. That's right, my Pokemon are rock types. Haha! <laughs> You're going to challenge me even knowing that you'll lose? That's, what's a, that's what a trainer's honor demands. So be it, show me your best. I wish I had a box at least one Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> right. I don't think we're gonna get blown back. He's got two Mons. It's gonna be like a level eight G dude, and, and then like the level fourteen Onyx. But with the type advantage we have here, I think we'll be perfect. He's level fine. eleven, bro. Level eleven? Woo! <laughs> it's gonna be a level fifteen. It could still be fourteen. Three level difference. I almost killed it. I just I one. I it. one tapped it, dude. I got. I got a. I got a crit. Absolutely obliterated it. We're set up to win big time though, because we've got a Grass type. And we, each of our starters who are good and have good stats, both have double kicks. So, I mean... Does Onyx have a ground-type move? I don't know. It's level it's level 12. It's level 12. Oh. That's not bad. Watch this one tap. Oh, he outsped me. Oh, jeez. Oh! Are you, are you hitting it with Absorb? Yeah. One tap. Okay. <laughs> Head, headbutt. It's faster. Okay, that didn't do a lot. Ooh, your bell sprout took some Ooh. wicked damage there. He did. See, ob absorb in this situation is better than vine whip because I'm looking at a special move here. I and just... you... oh my gosh! Okay, I killed it. Okay. Dude, Onyx. Dude, I didn't even get. I was so scared of the battle. I didn't even get to comment on how awesome Onyx looked. Yeah. I know, right? It's amazing. <laughs> he looks amazing. It seems I mis or I underestimated you. I got nineteen hundred dollars. 1920. Wow! As proof of your victory. As proof of your victory, take an, take an official Pokemon League badge. A Boulder badge. Cause there's two perfect girls for me. <laughs> With a Boulder badge, Pokemon up to level 20 from other trainers will listen to you without question. Oh, and wait, take this with you too. Wow, they changed up the TMs you get. We got Headbutt. If you use a TM or a technical machine, you can teach your Pokemon a move with it. A TM can be used as many times as you like, so use it on any Pokemon you want. Contains Headbutt. It deals damage to your opponent by ramming them with a head of as hard as rock. So, that's good for you, because now you'll be able to teach that to Eevee. Do you, do you see this on the bottom screen? Yeah, what is that? Oh! Oh! I just shake my controller. Oh my gosh. Completely overjoyed with our victory. <laughs> you deserve to be happy. There you go. Get you didn't even do anything, but I will pet you. He could have done something if he wanted. He could have double kicked and probably annihilated them, but... Yeah. I, I, f I figured it was a safer bet to lose a Bellsprout <laughs> than, <laughs> than my newbie. All right, well... I hey there, newbie. What? Do you know who that is? Ah! Hold Don't on, let me get okay. out there. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Are you voicing him then? Yeah, yeah. Don't tell me. You've got to be Phantom, right? I'm... That's amazing. Or, what do I want to say? How did you I, know I, that? I just said amazing. <laughs> okay, yeah. I knew it. I'm always right. Blue. I'm blue. I heard from my gramps that two new kids set out from Palatown to become trainers. Just like I did once. So I came to check you out. I was thinking, you might want some advice on how to beat the gym from an expert trainer like me. But it looks like I showed up too late, huh? Seems you're not too shabby yourself, so I guess you've earned a reward, newbie. Five great balls? Wow! Yo! Yo. Those, those will be even better for catching Pokemon than plain old Pokeballs. And hey, that thing you've got there, that's a Pokedex, right? So Gramps finally went and made one. He used to make me just scribble on a map with a pencil about where I encountered Pokemon. <laughs> You'd better do a good job helping him out. He may be Professor Oak to you, and sure, 
He's an old coon, but he's still my gramps. Smell you later, newbie. Yo, dude, that was... Oh, my uh, God. Dude, that, that was, was super so fly. Cool. That was super fly. That was... Dude, I wonder if Blue is the gym leader. The eighth gym leader. I mean, it's possible. He doesn't look at like he's old or nothing, though. Right. That's true. And did you hear what he said? He said, my gramps used to make me scribble down on a piece of paper and a map. <laughs> but in Gen 1, they had... Uh, they had you know Pokedexes I mean? then, too, yeah. Did you look at this. I just talked to my, my Rattata. It says, LaRonda seems jealous of Cheeks. <laughs> That's fine. All right, what? I'm, I'm going to go heal real quick. Cheeks, will you give it some attention? Sure. Give your cheeks attention. I'm going to give my cheeks some attention. LaRonda looks very pleased. LaRonda was also very happy about my gym badge we just got. All right, DJ Spinda. You know what time it is, right? It's the end. The end time. All right. And then we're going to start out by battling 1v1 with each other. That means someone's losing a Pokemon in the next episode. It's going to get wild. Woo and we're gonna get a go token to the winner. Oh, baby. Oh, that my son is just ruining my face right now. I just realized that is terrible. <laughs> I am so sorry, guys. The sunlight has been coming through my window oh, my and God. just tore my face up for like most of the recording. <laughs> I guarantee you. That sucks. Well, the, sun, anyway. the sun's been moving slowly, so I mean, yeah. yeah, is what it is. I apologize for that. But anyway, this was a really exciting episode. I loved every minute of it. I'm I'm going to save my game. What about you, Dylan? Just did it. Perfect. See Brock on there? Oh, it looks good. Oh, that looks so clutch. All right, you guys. If you guys enjoyed this episode, please smash that like button. Make sure you subscribe to DJ Spinner's channel so you do not miss the next episode of Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu, Let's Go Eevees, Go Lock. All right, you guys. I'm in the Phantom Michael. I'm going to get the heck out of here. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.